What? What? What's good, planet Earth? Welcome back to the channel that brings you the content that you request every day. My name's Charlie, and today is Gospel Sunday. Now, this is um, video number two for Gospel Sunday, and another male vocalist. So this is Donald Lawrence and Tri City Singers um, singing "When Sunday Comes," but this is Daryl Coley as a guest vocalist. Um, never heard Daryl before. Uh, obviously heard Donald Lawrence and the Tri City Singers on Sunday Best with Leandria Johnson. Actually, that one's on Patreon because it got blocked on YouTube. So head over to Patreon if you want to hear that one uh, and, and feel free to join up. Um, but yeah, they're amazing. Uh, incredible, incredible choir. So yeah, I can't wait for this one. It's been too long. Um, so it hasn't been too long because we've never done it before, but it's been a long time coming putting some male gospel singers on here. So uh, super stoked for this one. Can't wait to get into it. So without further ado, let's go. What can I say about Daryl Coley? Daryl Coley is one of my favorite singers. When I, when I first heard him sing Do the Best You Can with Lynette Hawkins years ago, I was like, who is this voice? I love him. Anyway, I was so privileged to have him come and do this particular project with me. Um, we've been friends for a long time. He, he is, uh, I, I say, just a phenomenal talent. And not only that, his ministry is really, 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 really strong. And, and I, I think we think a lot alike because he believes in giving the Lord his best no matter what it takes. Myself and Daryl had some time to just cut up and, and chill out in rehearsal on the sound check before for the concert. And Daryl, of course, gives everything he can. He gives it in sound check performance. It doesn't matter. Of course, he's dogging me out because he says I gave him the song at the last minute. But he is a last minute singer, and there are not a lot of those. What? What? Man, to have that much breath left and that much power left to do that run at the end of that note. This guy is a phenomenal vocalist. Man, where's he gonna take it? Oh, 
He's um sorry I didn't mean to. That's probably a bad place to stop it, but I need to say the things I have to say when I when I when they come to my head because otherwise I'll lose them forever. I, my ADHD is terrible, but um I um oh, I've already forgotten what I was going to say. <laughs> oh yeah, he's very playful um in the way that he sings and the way that he plays with the melody, um while not corrupting his integrity and not you know not being so playful that it's disrespectful to what he's singing you know um and i've not seen that yet not not to this extent anyways he's um very sort of playful with it um he's great i can't cannot get enough of him <laughs> Holy Spirit. 
Wow. He is something else. They had it all. The chord cha uh, key changes. I love a key change. I am a sucker for a key change. Why did we leave that back in the 90s? Why? At least in popular music. Love a key change. It's like the most uplifting thing ever. Flipping key change. Bring them bring them back. The world would be a better place if we bring back key changes. Just mark my words. Oh, it's so uplifting. I don't... I do understand. Everyone's different. Everyone's wired differently. But I, I just... I've said this before, I don't understand how this can't fill your soul and and just make everything better. It's such healing music. I love it so much. Just such a blessing that this music it exists and I exist at this moment in time. That I can hear it, you know? And have it have this effect on me. So, so amazing. We need to listen to some more Daryl Coley. What a voice. What a voice. He is a boss. Yeah, I mean, his range is ridiculous. His runs are ridiculous. His ministry is ridiculous. He's... He, I just did um, a reaction. It would probably be uploaded by now, but I just did. Uh, I just recorded a reaction to James Moore, Reverend James Moore, and Richard. Someone I don't know who the other guy was. But he was amazing as well. But there's, I recognise the same sort of thing in Daryl Coley as I I, I sort of um, observed in uh, Reverend James Moore in that while his singing is incredible. He also feels quite accessible and like a sort of um, almost like a, a relative would make you feel in there, or at least a loving <laughs> one that you actually love. Um, relative would feel in their presence, you know, just kind of puts you at ease. Um, you know, it's not this sort of figure on a pedestal, or, or at least that's not how I feel about um him or how he made me feel in in that video it was just seems very accessible very but, but while being completely anointed at the same time and uh it's interesting because you know as i say i just reacted to uh um james uh more <laughs> too many names uh reverend james Moore, and he, he gave me the same feeling so i, I don't know if maybe this is going to be a thing with male um, gospel singers because we've not done any on the channel so far um, but that's the feeling that I got from both of them and it's a really lovely feeling like being in the in the presence of a loving father you know which this obviously is <laughs> but but for them particularly uh, you know specifically for, for the actual vocalists but uh, anyway I'm rambling now I absolutely love that and um, I'm full for the day probably the week um 
reaction and i hope you are too i hope you got something out of this as well and enjoyed my reaction uh, if you want to support the channel guys please smash that like button it helps to uh, promote the video on youtube and uh, make sure that as many people see it as possible um, if you want another way of supporting the channel as well then my patreon is down in the description it's very reasonable all the money goes back into the channel into buying new equipment making sure the content is always better uh, better quality and um, yeah so it doesn't go to me personally i invest every penny back into the channel um, so on there you will get early releases you'll get all the blocked content from youtube that doesn't get released um, because it gets blocked um, plus other features such as throwback thursday and other fun things like that where we do a bit of a watch along to golden oldies um, so that's always fun but anyway go and check it out it's in the description follow me on my other social media accounts i can't speak today follow me on my other social media accounts guys they're down in the description as well they're also fun places to be but anyway as always be kind to yourselves love everybody and take care freaking love you guys